All right, well, this year's winter could have an extra chill, and it's all because of snow in Siberia. Meteorologist Audrey Puente explains how that could affect our winter this year. Audrey? That is true. You know, each fall, meteorologists keep a close watch on Siberia, where snow cover builds across thousands of miles. This year, that snowpack has expanded quickly and early, and that could be a signal for what's ahead here in the tri-state area. So here we're looking at the top of the earth here near the North Pole, and this early snowpack acts like a giant mirror reflecting sunlight and cooling the ground. That chill builds a dense cold air mass over Eurasia, and the more snow, the stronger the effect, setting off a chain reaction that can influence weather patterns half a world away. Research shows that a strong connection between October snow in Eurasia and the behavior of the polar vortex, the swirling band of winds that keeps Arctic air contained, when the vortex is strong, the cold stays locked up north, leaving much of North America with milder winters. But rapid Siberian snow growth can build what is called the Siberian high, and that system pumps energy into the stratosphere, disrupting and weakening the polar vortex, like you see here. When it wobbles or splits, it opens the door for cross-polar flow, allowing frigid air to surge south into the United States. And for the tri-state area, that can mean periods of intense snow, or intense cold, rather, and a greater chance for snow. Still, it's not the only factor. This winter, La Nina conditions in the Pacific and unusually warm water in the North Pacific will also play a role in shaping our storms. Something we'll be watching, of course, as the season unfolds. And someone I know that's watching it very closely is my colleague, Nick Gregory. Uh, yes. <laughs> and we'll be coming out with our winter forecast mm -hmm. likely in November. Yeah. So all of those factors, Audrey just pointed out, is exactly what we put into the equation. Yeah. So very good. And we started talking about this morning, being that it was chilly out yes. here. So now we're starting to think ahead now, to the winter. Exactly. We don't so want to fast forward yet. but We're switching we're, gears yes, slowly, we slowly. We just don't pop the clutch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And the other thing, too, we're going to watch uh, is the uh, what's called the North North Atlantic oscillation. That's a little uh, oscillation that happens in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's that a negative oscillation that produces big snowstorms here in our part of the country. So we'll see how that plays out. And again